hello everybody hello good evening i hope everybody had a really good day today a really positive day today blessings to everybody just want to say big up and respect just here gonna make another youtube video for y'all um another upload and this video i'm just gonna talk about you know, a little bit of my story, the continued narcissism um, and the overcoming of the narcissism every day, staying positive and um, just making continued moves to stay above the water. Like I like I always, always say, you know, stay above the water. Um, like I said in my last video, um, I always like to include a scripture of the day and it is Isaiah 54, 17 today. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that raises up against me shall be condemned. So is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And that is Isaiah 54, 17. So just remember that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue, every hater's tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned and shall not prosper. So just know that you're covered with the blood of Yeshua. Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach is his true name. So I like to use the name Yeshua um, as opposed to Jesus, which is his AKA name, just like I'm Nikki Victorious, you know. Um, so basically, that's the scripture of the day. There's a couple of topics that I wanted to talk about. First is just continued narcissism and negativity you know from people um just know that people will continually do things to try to set you up to sabotage you to try to get you to have a negative reaction and just know that it is a narcissistic personality disorder that these people have and they're stuck in their emotional capacity from the trauma or abuse or whatever they went through from back in the day. Um, and it's just unfortunate that they didn't have or they didn't make the choice to not be mean and not be narcissistic and not be the type of people that they are. Um, I've personally been through trauma, abuse, um, really serious situations and I have chosen to continue to try to be the best person that I could be uh, not break down other females because of what I've gone through or the drama that I've gone through trying to project it on other people and we have to be really careful not to do that and that's something that I'm working on every day and especially when you're continually, sorry, <clears throat> continually going through abusive situations, uh, provoking situations. And when I say abusive, it doesn't necessarily have to be physically. I'm talking psychologically. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Psychological abuse, mental abuse um, with multiple people continually 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 there i am messing up my words again continually doing things to provoke and instigate a negative reaction that could easily instigate a negative reaction if i allow it to so this is where the fight comes in to stay positive even when people are pushing and pushing and pushing you um so again that's where the scripture of the day comes in um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. None. And um, I thank God for that word. And I just wanted to remind you guys of that word and remind you guys of that scripture. Remember that scripture, Isaiah 54, 17. Um, so there's a couple other topics that I wanted to talk about that I discovered on the internet doing my little surfing and researching. And one of the topics is we all know the artist Little Wayne, um, as well as Drake and Nicki Minaj. So reportedly, 
according to the internet and that's reportedly um little wayne has sold his masters um with Nicki minaj and drake's masters as well um for a hundred a sum of hundred million dollars a hundred million dollars granted it's a lot of money it's a big bag definitely a big bag however i believe that According to my opinion, he should have got a lot more, a lot more than a hundred million dollars for his Nicki Minaj's and Drake's masters, and apparently uh, Tiger as well, Tyga as well. Um, so yeah, my opinion is this, guys: we need to own our stuff, not because. You know, somebody comes and dangles a little money in front of us. Oh, we, you know, just give up ownership. We need to own our things, especially as black people. You know, don't be so easy to sell out just because a little money is being, you know, dangled in front of you. You know, um, I, I don't agree with it. I think he should have, he should have sold it for a lot more. Because their music is, is, is worth, I'm sure, a lot more of the sum of a hundred million. Not to mention anything else that's going to continually come out under that label. They're not going to own it. The masters. Um, now, from what I understand, Drake is has his OVO label. Which he has released some music under his OVO label. which is Which is a good move, but... According to the all the other stuff that he's put out, it's it's kind of sad, you know. It's kind of sad that they're not gonna own, you know, a lot of their stuff that they put out, you know, um, from young, un, at least under Young Money's label, under Little Wayne's label there. So um, my opinion and my commentary on that is basically um, try to own your stuff. Try your best to be an entrepreneur, and if you have the chance to own own it don't sell out don't sell out for no matter how much amount of money your ownership is a piece of you and your legacy that you could pass on to your children and your children's children and so on and so forth you know um so that's my message to all all us out there you know um own your stuff don't be so quick to sell out you know, just because, you know, a little bit of money, don't, don't be so quick, you know, own your stuff. Um, so that's basically my commentary on that. Um, I understand that Bob Dylan sold his entire catalog for approximately $300 million, 300 million. So, you know, um, that, that, that's a huge amount. You know, never mind collectively Drake's, Nicki Minaj's, Tyga, whatever Little Wayne was on with them, whatever, you know, he sold, I'm sure. Like, my point is, it must have been more than $100 million. And I, I think he, he could have got, should have gotten a lot more money from Universal for for that. So that's just my opinion and my commentary on that. And uh, we got to make real smart money moves. You know, if we're going to make money moves, we got to be really smart and really careful about what we're doing and make sure that we have the best benefit out of the deal possible. If you're going to make a deal or another contract, you know, or a partnership, make sure that you have the best benefit out of it and you're going to continually benefit by getting royalties and, and this and that and having ownership of it because once you have ownership of it that's the only way to to have rights that's the only way to collectively get money and collectively make your your bag over and over again from whatever time it's used every time it's used you know so um yeah own your stuff own your stuff so that basically leads me to another story that i actually saw this morning that collaborates with that with my point of owning your stuff and trying your best to be an entrepreneur guys and being a boss um so 
I wanted to mention another story of a young lady. Her name is Imani Outerbridge. Imani Outerbridge. You guys can check her out on Instagram. I'm all about supporting our black queens, our entrepreneurs, our bosses. Um, I came across her story this morning and I was so inspired and so encouraged um, by her story and um, just feeling good about knowing that I'm on, I'm creating my own story and it just encourages me on how great God is and how far he can bring you when you have faith and you step out and just do do the dang thing you know like I'm doing with this YouTube I'm on it you know so thank you guys for your support and continue to con um, to come and watch and like share and subscribe so um, yes Imani Outerbridge um, her story is she is an entrepreneur um, and uh, when she was 12 she was sent to a juvenile facility and um, this was when she was in middle school 12 years old you know um, and that led her to um, juvenile as I mentioned before and apparently the girls had two options for how they could spend their time and that was either watching the news or crocheting yes I said crocheting not only old ladies do crocheting you know Mm -hmm. Here's a young lady who took crocheting and making a, a huge company and business out of it. So don't just think it's for old ladies sitting here. Meow. I'm going to crochet a little scarf for my grandbaby. No, man. Crocheting big things. So she's a crochet influencer and she took her hobby and turned it into a business. So um, she's crocheted uh, as, as well as a fashion line. So she's crocheted outfits um, in which Cardi B has modeled um, as well as Megan Thee Stallion um, so you know she has made she has done it big and I'm very encouraged by her story um, so again she started in juvie she took up the crocheting and she just continued to practice and she turned it into a fashion line and now she has a series of vending machines in which she's placed in salons um, where people can buy the yarn and crochet their own outfits and start making their own pieces, hats, um, dresses, you know, two-piece outfits, really nice stuff. Anything that you could dream up in your own head and be creative uh, with your own abilities to do. Um, so yeah, she's done that. Um, and I was just really encouraged by her story, how she took a negative situation at 12 years old, started crocheting. Um, she mentions in the article that she um, was extremely um, influenced and in, or encouraged by the crocheting. She said it's something that has changed her life. Um, she never thought she, it would be as big as it is. And so it's just like what my business, Victorious Creations, you know, starting off with wrapping hangers. You know, um, if you guys go to Victorious 7 underscore, crea underscore creations, you will see, you know, pictures of even the hangers that I started. I started with that. And then I started with the t-shirts and the bags and the vases. You know, you just evolve. You know, all you have to do is just put your foot out there. Just start something. Take something that you like to do and just try it and see what happens. Um, so I was just encouraged by that. Im Imani Outerbridge, you guys could check her out. I love encouraging other entrepreneurs. Um, I have her, I'm going to be following her as well on Instagram and trying to connect with her. Um, so, you know, it's, it's great that black people, our black brothers and sisters, our queens, um, and as well as our kings are just doing your thing, making your dreams come true, turning your hobbies into businesses, you know, especially in this time, it's the smartest thing we could do. And nothing tried, nothing done. You don't need a whole bunch of money. You just need an idea, a dream, and some faith. And step out. You know, so um, that's just my encouragement for this video. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Share the couple of topics, you know, with that, with regarding ownership and how important it is to own your stuff. And going from the, the Little Wayne story with regards to him selling off 
some of um or the catalog of Nicki Minaj's and Drake's stuff as well as his compared to going to a, a young entrepreneur who's about complete ownership of her business and turning her hobby into a business and knowing that I'm sure she ain't never going to sell that you know so it was just nice to to see that transition in one story to a next how you know one can just own the point is just owning owning trying to be a boss and owning and i know that we all have to work our nine to fives if we have to um, i'm still hustling doing my thing as well as my business stuff so you know we have to do what we have to do to pay the bills you know um, but at the same time uh, put most of your energy into your dream put most of your energy into your business um, and try your best to become a boss you know so god bless you guys i don't want this video to be too long um continued respect one love remember scripture of the day um isaiah 54 17 um i love you guys all you guys are victorious okay remember victory is ours no weapon formed against you or me shall prosper so respect and until the next video like share and subscribe and thank you guys for watching